guys, it's coffee time with my cool zebra mug. Winning. Uh, so hopefully you guys are having a great week. I'm having a good week. Um, I actually, I got a question in my last coffee video. I think I still have it up. Yes. Um, that I want to talk about today. Uh, the question was, Dear Dodger, I'm in the mood to move. 25 years in the same place is too long. While debating whether to move, it occurred to me that Oregon isn't just some place on the other side of the country or a place I'll die of dysentery while on the trail to it, but somewhere I could live. And my friend with the same urge is a fan of the idea. Living in New England means I've never been there. Tell me everything or just random tidbits to help me decide. From Modern Day Mercutio. I love your name. So, <laughs> I thought that that was a cool question because I love Oregon. So I can tell you. Also, had a very good friend move from New England to Oregon, so I can tell you about that as well. Um, yes, Oregon. I love Oregon. I think that Oregon is a great place to live. Um, we have all four seasons, especially if you're in the Valley area, like where I grew up in, um, in Clackamas County. Um, we get all four seasons very distinctly. If you want to live by the beach, we have the beach. If you want to live in the desert, we have desert. We have snow, mountains, valleys. We have everything there, pretty much. And it's interesting because Oregon is very... People who aren't from the Northwest very much look at Oregon as farms. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, they don't realize how liberal the state is. It's a very, very liberal state. And it's a very, um, there's a huge art movement that's happening in Oregon that a lot of people are drawn to, especially in, um, Portland, Eugene, both, um, huge, not huge, I guess, huge in, in the context of Oregon, uh, both Portland and Eugene are big cities and Portland, especially, um, I love the feel of being in Portland. Portland has a very clean, interesting feel to it. And pretty much everyone that you see there is either in a business suit or is a hipster. That is Portland. <laughs> um, but Portland is like, like if you wanted to live in a city, I would say live in Portland. Um, Portland is tiny coffee shops and bookstores and um, people playing music and art museums and just just a ridiculous love for art in general. It's, um, it's a really great city. And I have always felt pretty much everywhere that I've been in Portland, even the like sketchy areas, I've felt very comfortable there. Um, it has, it has a good vibe to it, I guess. Um, but even, even like the rural areas are really nice. I, I love, I love Oregon. Something that's interesting about Oregon is that um, we provide the highest quantity of the world's Christmas trees just in Oregon. Isn't that weird? I might, I probably should look that statistic up before I quote it because it might be the Northwest in general, but um, I think it's just Oregon. Everybody has Christmas tree farms. Everyone. It's insane. Uh, all of the, like, at my high school... All of the, uh, the really intense families. You know how in your high schools, there's always, like, the kid who's, like, part of that family? Um, all of those families were families that did Christmas trees and were just, like, making bank off Christmas trees. <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, but no, I think that Oregon is a great place to live. And I absolutely love it. And I feel like, um, like I'm... I know that at some point I'm going to live there again because that's how much I love it there. <laughs> it's very green. It's very lush. Um, uh, the people care a lot, but at the same time, don't care at all. Um, <laughs> which leads me into my explanation of my friend Kate moved from New York, um, Albany, New York to... Oregon, um, as, as an adventure, as a, I want to live somewhere completely different. And I think that North Americans forget how huge our country is. Like you could fit so many European countries inside of our country. It's insane. So you do have to realize that there are lots of different cultures spread out throughout 
our country. And going from one end to the other is a huge culture shock, just warning you. Um, because the, the hippiness that Oregon is known for, mixed with the high maintenance-ness that New England is known for, they do not mix. They do not mix very well at all. Um, and I know that uh, the few people that I do know that have come from New York or Boston anywhere over there and come to live in Oregon have had a hard time understanding the people there because we're very like homebody (laughs) just kind of like whatever and we don't always get back to people on time and we're not always getting to places on time and we don't always call people back um that's not just a me thing that is a people in Oregon for the most part thing uh and my friends that have that lived in New England and came here so frustrated by it because they can't tell if people don't want to be their friend or if they're just being Oregonians. And my my response at first was always just you have got to chill out. Like <laughs> like I don't know how to help you because all that I can say is like you need to chill. It's not a big deal, but it is a cultural thing. Like it's something that you have to, that you have to understand. So that's something that if, if you are planning on moving with a friend, like it sounds like you are, that's good because you'll both be experiencing the same thing at the same time and you'll have one another to lean on. However, uh, the people that have moved here on their own, um, adapted. And although Kate absolutely hated living here for like a year and a half, um, the other half of a year that she was here, she absolutely adored it. And now that she's gone, she wishes that she was back. Um, she misses it a lot. And I think uh, my mom always says that it takes two years to truly know whether or not you like living in a place. And I think that that's probably pretty true. Like, to say that, um, like, I, I wouldn't be able to say whether or not I actually enjoy living in Los Angeles yet. Um, because there are things that make me go, oh, I just wish I was back in Oregon. And there are things that make me go, no, I like it here. So I think that, yeah, it, it takes a couple of years for you to adapt and like understand the way that things work and the people and just everything. Los Angeles is weird because, um, almost everyone here came here because it's Los Angeles. Not many people, actually, I don't think I've met anyone that is from Los Angeles, uh, it's such a strange mix of people here. Um, Oregon, Oregon is mostly made up of people who have never left Oregon or, um, have left but come back. People, people who grew up in Oregon are very attached to Oregon. Uh, but it's a great state. I really, I, I really love Oregon. And I think that if you were wanting to make the trek from one end of the country to the other and live somewhere, I think that Oregon is a great place to go because you have a lot of options. And the, like I said, the cities are nice, the rural areas are nice, um, and there are, there are a lot of different types of people to interact with. Uh, so it really just has to do with what you're looking for, I guess. And um, yeah, I mean, good luck to you <laughs> if you decide to move to Oregon. Um, I completely... I say do it, do it, do it, because Oregon is great. Uh, but, I mean, you, you might have some some cultural issues when you come here. But I believe in your skills to overcome them. Uh, I, th- I think that anyone can overcome that sort of stuff. You just have to be open to understanding the way that the people work. And, uh, and you have to learn not not to take the things that they do as a personal attack or as... Um, something to take personally in general uh it's just people being people and um yeah i love oregon i miss oregon talking about it i miss it a lot uh i feel like i mention him all the time but i don't know we we have kind of a bromance going and we just we talk about the weirdest stuff all the time uh john tron and i actually had like a picture battle where we were sending each other pictures um, he was sending me pictures of California and I was sending him pictures of Oregon and we were debating which was the better state. Uh, the, the problem is, is that 
I think we we both value different things. So I was like, no, but Oregon, like, there are trees everywhere. There are even trees in the cities. And he was like, <laughs> who cares? Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes. Oregon. Love Oregon. And uh, I've said that like 18 times. But I do. It's the truth. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Zebra coffee. Zebra coffee. I haven't made coffee ice yet. But I should. I started throwing things away, though. <laughs> I started taking out my trash. You can't tell. But I started taking out my trash yesterday. Um, it just devolved into me playing Mortal Kombat, so... I didn't get very far, but I started it. And that's, that's half the battle. Anywho, I'm gonna go to work. Uh, but hopefully that answered your question at all. Um, hopefully this isn't super confusing and hopefully I haven't terrified you and scared you away from it either. I think that, uh, moving to a different place is very good, especially like in terms of, um, personal growth. I think that, uh, moving and challenging yourself is great and I wish you the best of luck and I hope that you decide to do it, whether it's Oregon or not. I hope that you do, um, decide to make the move and, and have fun with life. So there's that. But hopefully you guys have a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow.